Hi, welcome to Ragsdale Creek Workshop. My name's Anthony Brown, and I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And hit that little uh, bell to get your notifications. Uh, thank y'all for stopping by. Today we're going to be machining a back plate for my 5C collet chuck. We're getting close. We're like about four or four and a half thousandths. Calibre says we need two more. There's a good tight fit. I like that fit. We'll send you over to drill press or the mill. I haven't figured out which one I'm going to do it on yet. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, I've already transferred them and uh, we're fixing to center drill them. <coughs> and, uh, the mounting hole. That was my granddaughter coming out here to check on me. All right, we got them counter suck. Now I got to find a cap drill. Uh, let me get something and uh, tie this thing down. I don't trust it. See, it did grab, so I'm glad I had her tied down. Okay, let me get all set up on another hole now. We'll get all three of these holes tied. All right, I'm going to drill the rest of them off the 5C uh, 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 collet uh, chuck off camera. It, okay, we're going to tap this one hole and we'll tap the other two off camera. All right, we'll get the rest of them tapped. We'll be back. Okay, we got it uh, bolted to the uh, back plate and uh, got it mounted back on the machine. And now we're going to 
check it out to see how uh, how true it's running the uh, total uh, out around or but uh, we'll check that out and uh, see what that uh, what that gets us let's get this uh, save away out of the way for right now and uh, let's see we'll get this uh, I'm going to have to move y'all around a little bit. That's a 5 8 dial pin that I had laying in my box. And uh, let's see what we got now. We'll uh, just ease it around. Well, I got to take it out of gear, I guess, before I do that. Ooh, that's good. That ain't but about about a tenth or two. I like that. Whoops, I can't jog it in it out of gear, kind of. About two tenths. I'm satisfied with that. Matter of fact, I'm tickled to death with that. All right, that's a that's a good uh, good deal there. Uh, well, this is going to end this video. Uh, appreciate y'all stopping by. All right, that ends this video. Uh, I'm real pleased with the results. Uh, this is a first bat plate I've ever done, and. Uh, Turned out to, to my satisfaction, I think I can, uh, with an import, uh, I think that's as close as you could get it. Uh, and I'm real pleased with it. I well, appreciate y'all coming by and uh, watching my videos. Uh, tell your friends and uh, get them to come over and check it out. They don't have to subscribe. If, if they like the content, they can, they can subscribe. I, uh, a little bell to get their notifications. Uh, I, like I said, I'm new at this, and uh, I'm getting uh, a little better as I go along. And uh, it'll be more content, mostly shop tools I'll be making and uh, uh, things to make uh, life easier here in the shop because uh, I just do uh, stuff for friends, and most of that's not... Uh, uh, videotaped. I might start taping some of it. Uh, I'll have to get their permission to do it. And uh, uh, I didn't do much machining. I was a tool and die maker. And uh, the machining part of it, when CNC come along, was took out of it for the die maker. Uh, we do we do it a lot of grinding and uh, surface grinding and uh, Blanchard grinding. And uh, I don't know if y'all know what a Blanchard grinder is, but it's a it's a big old uh, grinder. It's got a wheel on it about, uh, ours had, had a wheel on it that was uh, 30 inches in diameter and it had segments around it. And the uh, the chuck itself was laying flat and it was uh, 52 inches. And you laid your parts on that chuck and uh, just like a regular grinder, but the wheel on top, it turned around. Uh, uh, it didn't, it wasn't a, uh, uh, and it was a horizontal grind. It was it was mostly for roughing and uh, uh, grinding uh, uh, bigger stuff. And uh, the, that's all about all they'd let us do because mostly after they found out you was good at troubleshooting and uh, uh, getting dies to run, you didn't get to do much machining at all. And I loved that part of it. And when that was took away, it was uh, it was something that I enjoyed and I wanted to get back into. So when I retired, I, I uh, said I was going to get me a lathe and a mill and uh, some equipment and do it. And, and uh, I have. I've got a little uh, uh, bench top, uh, or I guess you'd call it a bench top mill. Uh, and uh, it's not much, but it, it'll do. This lathe right here, I'm real, I'm real pleased with it. Uh, it does as good a work as any lathe we had in our shop. It's a Grizzly uh, G4003G, and uh, I'm real, real pleased with it. 
Like I said, though, this is, this is rambling on here. Uh, Y'all hit the bell and get your notifications and subscribe and uh, uh, come back to see me. And I enjoy y'all uh, watching my videos and uh, I'll try to have content that's uh, interesting if you're interested in machining. Thank you and uh, God bless.